We've got a barbecue master on the phone, Myron Mixon. Good morning. You there? Hey. How you doing? We're so excited to have you on the phone this morning. You got a lot going on, like Barbecue Pitmaster's coming back. Yeah, we got a lot happening. We uh, Barbecue Pitmaster All-Star Season starts May 28th at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on Destination America. We're going to be bringing them back all the past winners to play it all out. A uh, throwdown, you might want to call it, for $50,000. Ooh, that's nice. a big throwdown. So the big question is with um, Memorial Day weekend being here, what are you grilling out? What I'm grilling out is going to be just burgers and dogs and maybe some chicken wings because I want something that's going to be quick, something that's easy where I can enjoy being out in my swimming pool, getting on my boat, and enjoying the, the fun with my friends and yeah. family. <laughs> All right, Myra, give us one good, uh, say, uh, one good burger tip. If you got something that's like maybe uh, to make some really good. I'm going to tell you a process, and I'm going to give you some ingredients to put in. All right. How to do a great burger. A lot of times people have a big issue with burgers falling apart. You know, they throw them on the grill, they start cooking, and they just want to fall apart. You got people who wet light bread and pour in it. They put eggs in it, trying to bind it. The best thing to do is take your burgers. Whenever you're getting ready, you done done everything you're going to do to them. You patty them out. I like to make about a quarter of a pound patties. Put them on a sheet pan. Stack the first layer. Put down a piece of wax paper. Stack the second layer. Ever how many you got? Then I stick it in the freezer overnight. Next day when I get ready to fire up the grill, when I get ready to put them on, I take them out of the freezer, put them on frozen, and they hold together perfectly. Cooked, done, all the way through. Wow. All right, here's a serious question because that's obviously intense. I love it. You do that this year. Then how the heck do you beat next year? It's just like competitions. Like how do you? What do you do to just constantly improve every single year? Well, you always got to be thinking, especially in competitions. I mean, if you got to stay ahead of the curve, and what I mean ahead of the curve in competitions today, just about everybody's at the top in 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 the world of competition barbecue. They can get the meat tender, they can get the meat done and moist. Then it comes down to a flavor contest, basically a sauce contest, and you got to stay ahead of that curve as far as judges what's going to be the hot thing. And they, generally it's not a big swing from the previous year, but you always got to keep bumping and checking and moving, trying to find that right flavor profile to win. But you're getting back to the burgers, some of the best ingredients I like to do in my burgers is, is I like to take my favorite rub that I make, fold it into the meat, then I like to take like grated pepper jack cheese, mm. fold it into the meat, then make the patties, then freeze them, bring them out and grill them all. Nice. That is so good. I like that. All right, I got to ask you a question. Now, I know, my, how many times have you won the Memphis and May Barbecue Championship? I've won the Grand Champion three times. Uh, we've taken uh, four first place hogs down there. That's amazing. All right, now, can you, uh, once and for all, I don't know if you can answer this question uh, about the, uh, the uh, you know, everybody claims to have the best barbecue from Kansas City to Memphis down to Texas and back. Is there one true home of the barbecue in america what would it be my backyard your backyard <laughs> what an answer all right well then you know what what is your favorite category to cook and why just you know you cook so much when you come into memphis and you cook dogs what would be your favorite category to just cook my favorite category to cook is the whole hog and i tell people this i teach classes once a month and I tell people all the time, a whole hog is made up of shoulders, they're made up of ham, they're made up of loins, bacon, they're made up of the jowl meat, the rib meat. All of these areas I just mentioned have unique flavor profiles that are, are wonderful by themselves. But when you cook them all in one package and all those juices mix and mingle from all these different areas, it provides you with unique barbecues that the only way you can get it is by cooking that whole hog. Are you teaching your son all this? I know you've got a cute son, Mike. I don't know how old he is now, but you've got to be keeping this in the family. He's 24 years old. Yes, I'm keeping it in the family. Matter of fact, uh, we got a new show coming out with Destination America besides the Barbecue Pitmasters All-Star Season. And we also got Barbecue Pitmasters uh, or, uh, the Pit Wars coming out. Also, we got a new show with just me and Michael that is uh, Barbecue Rules where he and I are standing there doing recipes together. What a champion. Whew. So uh, Mike, as he likes to be called, he's 24. Uh, I've always called him Michael, and all of a sudden one day somebody walked up to me and they said, man, we just love your son, Mike. I said, who are you talking about? <laughs> so Mike, so he's like Magic Mike. That's his stage name now, is Mike. <laughs>
Yeah. Magic Mike. I love it. Magic Mike with the barbecue. But he'll always be Michael with me. So, but uh, yeah, we're doing it together, and he's come along. I mean, uh, I wish I'd have been that smart about barbecue stuff when I was 24. But family, it's a family thing. You teach. Yeah, I mean, he's really. If there's gonna be somebody I can hand the reins over to to make sure, I guess you want to say the legacy's carried on, and uh, really proud of him. All right, man. Well, we continued success. What about? Can you recommend a good book if somebody wanted to read a book over Memorial Day weekend? Uh, that might have something to do with barbecue, what would you recommend? Smoking with Myron Mixon. They made the New York <laughs> Times bestsellers list. Still sells off the chart. Uh, got about 80 good recipes in there about barbecue. Very simple, straightforward, matter of fact. That's the actual book that my uncle has signed by you, and it's his Bible. He swears yes, by it. Yes, it is. See, that's what I'm telling you. I mean, thing is, a lot of those recipes are the basis of what my dad taught me. Then I added the... Uh, basically the competition twist to them, but their simple barbecue is supposed to be that way, easy to follow, and uh, turns out great product. All right, man. Good luck on the TV show, and I hope you have a spectacular Memorial Day weekend, okay? Well, make sure you all watch me now, Barbecue Pitmasters, All-Star Season, May 28th, Thursday night, 10 p.m. on Destination America.